uh, the main features primarily i have about five features that i really appreciate on uh, the ipv platform the number one is uh, it's uh, increasingly clear that's not only for the uh, high net worth individuals but for anyone with a disposable income the second is I, ipv has a right right mix to protect investors and there are good reasons with the good returns and a balanced view on risk and reward ratios. The third point for me is the IPO support for the new age entrepreneurs is a very conscious effort and can be seen as such as a CSR initiative for the entrepreneurs because it creates contributes to the economic wealth of the country. Uh, IPV makes even small investors uh, funding of meaningful value propositions for the startups with a combined funding for various means. And then I, IPV platforms provides us the, the, the thing, the necessary guidance and mentorship and you know, and the next point is the IP, uh, IPV's due diligence really gives us the confidence in making the right investments. Yeah, uh, I have had a very personal and very rich experience of this facilitating and making my decision process much easier. IPO has a very detailed and intense drilling of the prospective startups, the objectives, the plans, the way forward, the area of the operations, as well as the financials, all help in uh, giving the comfort. For instance, I have had two startups, one in the networking sector as well as you know in terms of uh, the other in the IT sector where, where the I, IPV's uh, diligence and you know their uh, evaluation of the financials the combined ratios the way forward and what is the prospect of them uh, the startups getting into a much more uh, structured way of doing it has also helped me in yielding results in the sense that I have had a uh, good uh, fortune of having uh, some great uh, news about these startups really doing well now. Uh, it's about six months since I've started uh, investing in those startups and you know, uh, the results have been so far encouraging and in fact, there's one startup which has gone into the second stage of funding to R2 stage of funding. So I've had uh, about three to four uh, experiences here where uh, it gives me an overall perspective. It is not only uh, the founder uh, pitch, which alone is the combined factor. More than the founder's pitch, it is the IPV's recommendations. And the comfort that we get is the, that IPV does not bring any founder into our uh, attention unless they are first comfortable with them. So it's just that, you know, we, we get the distinct that IPV will never suggest any uh, any startups, unless they are themselves comfortable, that they will be making the investments uh, themselves, you know. So that that has a personal comfort to us. The second uh, most attractive thing, which is for me, is the IPO uh, has a very structured but a very informal approach, you know. And the founders pitch in directly has contributed a lot, you know. And we are able to ask questions. We have regular follow-ups with I with the founders, you know. We you know, we are allowed to have a way forward you know discuss with them and also they bring us together to help us help them as well you know so it's more like our company rather than we just don't you know invest and then forget about it and wait for the returns for us to uh, reap the benefits out of it and the third thing is i uh, the consistency which ipv display they takes us throughout the process and does not at any stage distance themselves so it's not as if you know they their job is done once the funding is taken over it's a uh, process where there's a seamless integration through all stages and you know right from the time we fund and right up to the time which is uh, where we can exit uh, and in a win-win situation 